Welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about reports customization, and in this one, we'll cover reports sharing, personalizing PDFs and custom fields. Once the report shows only what you need, you can download it on your computer as a PDF, CSV or Excel file. Alternatively, you can share a link to the report. First, let's filter reports by some client and then click the share icon. Next, we'll name the report, choose whether we wish to lock down the dates so the viewer can't change them, decide whether the report should be public, meaning it can be viewed with a Clockify account. If you are viewing a report for a relative date range, like last month for example, you'll be able to check always open as last month and the report will always show last month's data relative to that day when it's first opened. You can also schedule the report to email and receive the summary in your inbox each day, month or week, which you can forward to your clients. Finally, create a link. At this point, only you can see the link on the shared page. So the next step is to copy it and send it to others. This is how the report looks like once it's opened. As you can see, the report has the client filter already applied and reflects how the report looked like when you've created it. Also, the report shows live data. So if you log more time, the report will show that too. And because we haven't locked the dates, we can see the data for other dates. If you're not sure what data the link shows exactly, you can open its filter info from the shared page. Shared reports are also useful when you want to access reports you run all the time with one click. For example, you can create a report for each user's time, make it private, and then open each link from the shared reports or via a bookmark. By default, the Clockify logo is shown in PDF and shared reports. If you want to personalize the report, you can upload your company logo in workspace settings and all PDFs will show your logo in the corner and created with Clockify will no longer be shown. Also, if you want to customize the report's name that's shown at the top of the PDF, you can export a shared report and its name will be displayed. And lastly, the most powerful way to customize Clockify is by using custom fields. For example, if you need to track project IDs, expenses, number of units, mileage, or anything else like that, you can create a custom field for it. For example, you can go to settings and create a field called project ID. Then drag it to the visible column and you'll be able to add the ID to each time entry either through the time tracker or via the timesheet. You can also make the field invisible so users don't see it and then go to some project and define its ID there and make it visible. Then, each time a user selects the project, the ID will be auto-populated. If you don't want users to see the ID, you can hide it in the project settings. Once you have custom fields on entries, you can filter reports by them. Just click on filters, check what custom ID you wish to use for filtering and then filter by it. To get all data, download the detailed report either as a CSV or an Excel file. Once you open it, you'll see all the custom fields for each entry there, and you'll be able to make super powerful pivot tables. This concludes our reports tutorial. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorials as well as like, share and subscribe.